Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we are looking at this 2006 Chevy Silverado with a 4.3 liter engine in it. I'm going to be showing you some emissions component locations to get you started on your DIY project at home. Just take a look over the engine, make sure we're looking at the same thing. This should be the same if not similar to the two wheel drive GMC models as well. Here is your under hood label. This label lets you know some important information about your vehicle such as the engine size, the engine family number, and what emissions components are on your vehicle. Getting started real quick, right here on top of the passenger side valve cover, you have the EVAP Vapor Emissions Purge Solenoid or valve. This is the valve or solenoid the computer uses to release fumes or vapors back into the intake while the vehicle is running. So if you're having a problem pumping gas, that would not be the solenoid that you'd be looking at. Trying to get you a good here on the passenger side is your bank two sensors. This is your bank two sensor one oxygen sensor. This is the sensor the computer uses to tell the fuel delivery system how much fuel to give or take away from the engine to make it run right. So that could be the cause of a lean or a rich condition if it is a bad oxygen sensor. Here is your bank one sensor one oxygen sensor. Again, this, com this component tells your computer how much fuel to give or take away from this side of the engine uh, to get it to run right so you get to the perfect like 14.7 uh, to 1 combustion and get the best efficiency and all that. Your rear oxygen sensors are located behind the catalytic converter. This is your bank one sensor to oxygen sensor. This sensor is responsible for letting the computer know if your catalytic converter is good. So this would be like a P0421 code or a, a, a catalyst efficiency below threshold code for the bank one side. That could be caused by a poor oxygen sensor behind the cat. Here's your bank two sensor two uh, oxygen sensor. This is the oxygen sensor responsible for checking the catalytic converter on the bank two side. Again, that could be the cause of a lean code or sorry, a a poor catalyst efficiency code that is more than likely this day and age if you have a catalyst efficiency below a threshold code i would recommend doing the catalytic converter and the rear oxygen sensor if you're over about 100 to 120 thousand miles on the back of the vehicle above your rear axle and behind the fuel tank you're going to find your vapor vent solenoid this is the solenoid or valve that the computer uses to release fuel vapors in the atmosphere, such as when you're pumping gas or when the vehicle is sitting idle. So it takes some energy while you're uh, not driving the vehicle to keep this one going sometimes. And again, if you have a problem pumping gas, this would be the solenoid that you should be looking at and see if it's faulty. Right here is your vapor canister. This is where the fuel vapors are stored when they're not being uh, held in the gas tank or uh, they're stored here before they're released in the atmosphere through that vent solenoid. The vapor canister very rarely goes bad. If it does, you usually can see some residue around a crack or something like that. Uh, something has to hit it usually to make it go bad. But hey, if it is, there it is for you. If this video helped you out, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Comment below with the code that this video helped you out on. And again, tell everybody about me, please. And I will see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking me out.